Today's morning devotional. True higher education. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God, thy spirit is good, lead me into the land of uprightness. Psalm chapter 143 verse 10. Rejoice in the Lord alway, and again I say, rejoice. Those who do this have a joyous life. No unpleasantness comes from their lips or from the atmosphere surrounding the soul, for they do not feel that they are better than others. Hide in Jesus Christ, then all the time the truth of God will be fitting you up for the future, immortal life. When you have confidence in the Mighty One, your experience is not borrowed, it is your own. Whatever your disposition may be, God is able to so mold that disposition that it will be sweet and Christ-like. By living faith you separate from everything not in accordance with the mind of God, and thus bring a heaven into your life here below. Will you do this? If you do, you will have sunshine at every step. True higher education is that which is received by sitting at the feet of Jesus. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, and he will lift you up. You need not struggle to lift yourself. Commit your work to him, do it in faithfulness, in sincerity, in truth, in righteousness, and you will find that every day it brings its reward, and that the light of heaven is shining upon you. His light, his grace, his salvation, are thus revealed. We know so little of Jesus Christ that we can but dimly comprehend what he will do for us. God desires us to learn of him. Let your character building be in accordance with the beautiful pattern revealed to men in the life of Christ. In all your work you should do as the husbandman does in producing the fruits of the earth. Apparently he throws away the seed, but, buried in the soil, the seed, in dying, germinates. The power of the living God gives it life and vitality, and there is seen, first the blade, then the ear, after that the full corn in the ear. Study this wonderful process. Oh, there is so much to learn, so much to understand, that it seems as though we cannot learn everything during this life and we cannot. But if we now improve our minds to the utmost of our ability, we shall through the eternal ages carry forward the study of God's ways and works, continually reaching higher and still higher. We need now minds that can understand the simplicity of godliness. More than we desire anything else, we should desire to have Jesus Christ abiding in the soul temple, because he cannot abide there without being revealed and shown forth in fruits and good works. God wants every one of you to be his helping hand, and if you yield yourself to him, he will teach and work through you, that you may be able to impart to others. Then you will be able to say, O God, thy gentleness hath made me great.